M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UV5RH, which does have GPS and APRS, but I'm having trouble configuring this. Now, I found this video that you can see on the left hand side if I scroll through the images, but the first image is showing you settings that you get to when you on the software. If I just move this out of the way a minute, go down here to APRS near the bottom. And I've started entering settings here. You can see we've got wide one there, target SS-2, code delay here, and myself. So the information that I'm being given, if I just move my radio out of the way just a minute, there, is I've got this list here of call signs, and it says here, self-target. SSID at the bottom, list your nearest eye gate. So this is telling me I need to set up an eye gate. Now I have got an eye gate device here, which I'm not gonna to do today, so I haven't used it for several months. I'll just show it you. This is my eye gate device, which I will tinker with tomorrow. It's quite late at night. But the question I have for any you know clever people is, why can't I just put in the right settings and then just send an APRS signal straight to another one of my APRS radios for testing. So we go to the next, actually on the first one at the bottom, it says list your nearest eye gate or digi Peter call sign SSID. Fill in the target, as you can see. And then that's the call sign of the station that did it. Input your call sign SSID. And it works. And you'll look here, you'll actually see it working. 9W2 ESR, that's his eye gate, and it's working, which is great. But what I want to do is um, just send APRS straight to one of my radios. So if we go back to the radio here, this is the, the Bofunk, and we've got the software. And it's actually transmitting APRS right now as we speak, 144800. And if I go menu down to GNS S menu down to GPS info and then down to APRS and it's on now as soon as you do that it starts to transmit okay and then we've got the interval as you can see on the software so what does anyone know what I should put here? Maybe I know they've told me to put wide two via the eye gate, and but I need to set up an eye gate. But I don't want to put wide two, I want to just transmit the both and let it transmit and then be received by my FT, FT, um, I think now my FT5D or my Kenwood D75. Now that the D75 does act as a digi Peter, yeah, so. Again, it's a bit late at night for me. I'm going to play with that tomorrow. So I'm just putting it out there. I'm going to put the Facebook link out there. The software, um, I'm having a problem with the software. I've got the software, but as soon as I send it, it says that it's got a virus. So I need someone, if anyone knows how to get the virus off it so I can actually post it onto my Facebook group. Let me know. Bye for now, 7-3.